Hello everyone, welcome to PYQ. This is IA 2014 question from the Mirror Algebra. Now question has two parts. This is 15 marker question. One part 8 marks, another part of 7 marks. Now question states that find eigenvalues and eigen uh, corresponding eigenvectors. And second part states that find that the eigenvalues of the unitary matrix have absolute value 1. So first of all, I'll find out the first part. This is the first part is everyone knows that to find eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvector, we need to find out a minus alpha i equals to zero if determinant. Then we'll find this lambda i. Then we'll find the values of lambda, different values of lambda, and then correspondingly we'll find the x as different vectors. The second step is to find vector matrix corresponding to each value of lambda. So this is what we have to do. So let's try to find out the, first of all, let's try to find out the eigenvalues. So a minus a minus lambda i determinant is equal to 0. That is minus 2 minus lambda 2 minus 3 2 1 minus lambda minus 6 and minus 1 minus 2 and this is minus lambda this is equals to 0 now expanding this if uh, we want to expand this I'll expand it as uh, minus min minus 2 plus lambda and then I have lambda into lambda minus 1 here minus minus adjusted here and then minus 12 then plus 2 times of 6 and plus lambda 6 plus 2 lambda and then I have 3 I have minus 3 sorry so I'll erase this now I have minus 3 times of minus 4 and then plus 1 minus lambda is equal to 0. Now I'll expand this as uh, lambda plus 2. This is minus, and then this is lambda square minus lambda minus 12, and then plus 2. This will be 2 lambda plus 6. Now if this minus comes out, I have plus 3 and lambda plus 3 equals to 0. To expand this, I have minus lambda plus 2 and lambda square minus lambda plus sorry minus 12 I'll write this now this is minus 12 then plus this is 4 and this is 3 that is 7 lambda and plus this is 6 to the 12 and 9 that is 12 9 21 so it equals to 0 now to expand this I have this is minus lambda q and this minus lambda plus 2 lambda that is plus lambda square minus 14 lambda minus 24 plus 7 lambda plus 21 equals to 0. Now adjusting these values here, I'll get lambda cube minus lambda cube minus lambda square then plus and plus that is 21 lambda and plus 24 plus 21 that is 20 45 so that is equals to 0 now you can directly use calculator here just yes, calculator is allowed so I'll get lambda equals to minus 3 minus 3 and one value of lambda will be 5 so these are the required eigenvalues of the given matrix so eigenvalue now corresponding to each eigenvalue we need to find out eigenvectors. Now we have I have to find out eigenvectors. Now to find eigenvectors I'll I'll write ax equals to lambda x and it can be written as a minus lambda i times of x equals to zero where x is the required eigenvector. To find out the eigenvector I need to find out let me scroll this down. 
let me scroll this down okay now to find out the for lambda equals to minus 3 i have a minus lambda i a minus lambda i as 1 2 minus 3 2 4 minus 6 and minus 1 minus 2 and 3 this is value of a minus lambda i so this is a minus lambda i matrix now i'll find apply the row operation here instead of applying you can see applying row operation here if we if we double this first row and subtract from second row i'll get zero everywhere and if i'll add add this into this i'll get zero again here so this is a minus lambda i now a minus lambda i times of x equals to 0 so if i'll multiply this 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 0 comma 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 0 comma 0 with the vector x that is x y comma z equals to 0 comma 0 comma 0 so i'll get one equation that is x plus 2y minus 3z equals to 0 so this is the equation what we got for finding eigenvectors now there is one equation and we have three variables so it implies 3 minus 1 that is 2 3 variables okay so, so finding vectors for these two say 3 variable let x and y assume so we need to assume some values for x and y then we can find out the values for z so from here we can find z equals to 1 by 3 times of x plus 2y. This is value of z. So if we assume values of x and y, we will get z. So let's assume x equals to 0, y equals to 1, x equals to 1, y equals to 0. Then correspondingly we will find z equals to something. So x equals to 0 and y equals to 1, z equals to 2 by 3. And x equals to 1, y equals to 0, then z equals to 1 by 3. So corresponding eigenvectors will be for lambda equals to minus 3, the eigenvectors will be 0, 1, 2 by 3, and 1, 0, 1 by 3. So these are the required eigen eigenvectors for lambda equals to lambda equals to minus 3. Now, now we'll we'll find eigenvectors for lambda equals to for lambda equals to minus five. So for for lambda equals to plus five, sorry, this is plus five. So for lambda equals to plus five, we have to find out again a minus lambda. So a minus lambda i. So I'll take another thing. This a minus lambda i, a minus lambda i will be minus 7. So, if you try, you will get these, these things after applying lambda equals to plus 5. This is plus 5. Uh, you will get 2, comma minus 4, comma minus 6, minus 1, comma minus 2, comma minus 5. Okay. Now, I will find out the similar matrix. First of all, I will reverse. I'll interchange R1 and R3, so I'll get minus 1, minus 2, minus 5, and then I'll get 2, comma minus 4, comma minus 6, and I'll get minus 7, comma 2, comma minus 3. Now I'll subtract R2 two times. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm doing R2, R2 plus two times of R1, and one thing I'm doing R3 r3 minus 7 times of r1 so by doing this i'll get minus 1 0 0 here and then i'll get minus 2 minus 5 and uh, 2 times addition so 2 times that is minus 8 and then 2 times addition minus 16 then this is 16 comma 32 so again if i'll apply this transition r3 r3 should be added with 2 times of R2, 
I'll get minus 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 5, 0 comma minus 8 comma minus 16 and these this will become 0. So now what I'll do I'll scroll it down. Now I have to find a minus lambda i times of x is equals to 0. So multiplying this value 0 minus 8 minus 16 and 0 0 0 with respect to x y and z equals to 0. We will get two equations that is uh, one equation is about x plus 2y plus 5z cancelling all negative parts and second equation will be 8y plus 16z equals to 0. So from here I can see that y equals to minus 2z and from here if you put this y equals to minus 2z I will get minus 4. So then I will have x plus z equals to 0 so x equals to z. So here we have two equations. So we have two equations, three variables. So 3 minus 1 that is one free variable. So one free variable that is let let z be that free variable. So I'll put z z be the free variable. So let z equals to 1. Then x equals to 1 and y equals to minus 2. So the eigenvector will be sorry this is this is minus 1. So x equals to minus 1 and y equals to minus 2, z equals to 1. This is one of the another required eigenvectors. So I am being able to find found we have found that uh, the two eigenvectors here and one eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalues lambda plus 5. So that is all in this lecture and we will do next part in another lecture. That is all from my side. Thank you.